So the Scottish Parliament elections are coming up in May and it seems to be distinctly less talked about than an election on another continent happening in November, and that's even by the Scottish people I know. These elections are important and hopefully I can help people know a little bit more about them. Let's start with the very basics and talk about how to vote in the elections. How to vote in the 2016 Scottish Parliament elections. Wait a minute, can you actually vote? Let's check. First, are you over 16? Do you live in Scotland? Good. Are you a British or Irish citizen? Or a Commonwealth citizen? Or an EU citizen? Great, just one of those counts. And you're not in prison, right? So are you registered to vote? Getting registered. First, check if you are actually registered or not. You can check by contacting your local electoral registration office. To find out who that is, put your postcode in at aboutmyvote.co.uk. They'll be able to give you contact details for your local election registration office, and you can check with them if you're registered or not. If they say that you aren't registered, they'll probably start talking you through how to register there and then. If you know you're definitely not registered, or if you've moved house since you last voted and know that you're not registered in your address, you can go to gov.uk slash registers to vote and do it there. The last date to register for the election is the 18th of April. If you're registered, a little bit before the election, you'll get a card in the post telling you a bunch of information about the election. The card will have your name and address on it, the date of the election, what the election is for, in this case the Scottish Parliament, the constituency in the region that you're electing a member from, the date of the election again for some reason, um, what time the polling station will be open and where your polling station is. These are normally things like community centres, primary schools or church halls, um, so expect it to be something like that that you're going to. You don't have to take the polling card with you, but it can help speed things along once you're at the polling station. So on election day, the 5th of May, the polling stations will be open from 7am to 10pm. That's 15 hours, so there's plenty of time for you to get down there. When you get to the polling station, chat to the person at the desk and tell them your name and address, and they'll check you off the electoral register. They'll then hand you two ballots and send you off to a booth. Finally, actually voting. You'll be given two ballots and you can vote once on each. The first one is the constituency ballot, where you elect one member of the Scottish Parliament to represent your local constituency, of which there are 73 in Scotland. Here you're voting for an individual to represent your immediate local area. Each candidate will have their name and party listed, along with a logo if the party has one. Put a cross in the box next to the one that you want to see elected. The second ballot is the regional ballot, where seven members are elected in each of the eight regions of Scotland. The regions are larger areas made up of either nine or ten constituencies. On this ballot, you are voting for a political party or occasionally an independent candidate. Each party will have names listed underneath their, and their logo. There will probably be a lot more boxes on this ballot than the constituency ballot. As an example, there were between 12 and 18 options on the ballots in the last election. Again, put a cross next to the party you would like to represent your region. Congratulations, you've voted in the elections, but maybe this didn't work for you, so here are a couple other things. Postal voting. If you know you're going to be unable to get to the polls on election day for any reason, or even if you just don't want to go to the polls, you can register to vote by post. You can find out more about that here. Note that the deadline to register for the postal voting is the 19th of April. Proxy voting. Proxy voting is nominating someone you trust to vote on your behalf. You do have to have a specific reason to have a proxy vote, but these range from things like disabilities to being in the armed forces and thus deployed overseas, so you can find more about that here. So hopefully by now you know everything you need to register and vote in the upcoming Scottish Parliament elections. I'm hoping to make more in this series with the next video talking more in depth about the electoral system we use. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you'd like to see more stuff by me, click on the pictures below.